welcome back today's video we're going to do underpainting which is also called mary phillips technique now mary phillips also does makeup for hailey bieber kendall jenner and many other celebrities and today we're going to do that technique i already tried this technique and honestly it's absolutely beautiful your skin will look so natural first step in this technique is using bronzer and i'm going to use this one from persona cosmetics and you can apply it a little bit more than usual since it's going to be covered oops this product is literally coming off um you can apply a little bit more than usual because it's going to be covered by the foundation be generous with it you know when i look back at my videos or when i look any a recording of myself i don't like the way i sound my voice is very like raspy very like low low so when i hear myself like talking like on camera i feel like uh, i sound so weird um i don't know that's how i feel like now we're just gonna blend this like i said it doesn't have to be perfect you just have to you know blend it really nice and we're gonna blend that first before going in with contour this year on my youtube channel i'm trying to focus more oops i'm trying to focus more on more technique kind of stuff and focusing more on techniques and you know just doing like more like tutorials let me know what kind of tutorials you want down below because i am definitely open to suggestions and i'm just gonna messily you know do this and i just i don't know i feel like i have a lot of makeup even though even though i'm a small creator i have a lot of makeup and i'm just like you know i want to like really not focus on buying products reviewing it but like more like technique kind of stuff you know how to use how to use the products you already have so now we're going to go with concealer this is way lighter than my skin tone but i, I want like a little bit more upright and in effect so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna put this in all the areas that i want which for me is these areas i'm also gonna put some in the middle of my nose Oh my gosh, that line. Oh gosh. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Okay, well, we'll fix that in a little bit. I never put concealer here because I feel like whenever I do put concealer there, it like cakes up, which I don't like. So I don't put concealer there. I'm just going to put concealer in these areas. Grab this brush from Sigma. It's huge, but I feel like it blends it blends the concealer so much easier. Um, this is the F79 Concealer Blend Kabuki. I like using this brush first because I never like to put too much product where my fine line is. I actually want to go a little bit down and then whatever excess product I have here, I put it in this area where my fine line is. That way my concealer creases less how easy that was that was like the easiest thing ever and then whatever i have left i'm putting it like right there i'm gonna go up here to whatever excess i have i'm gonna put it in the sides of my nose look how easy that was using this brush i really really like it and i'm just gonna blend 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 So now I'm going to grab this Rare Beauty foundation. Now I haven't used this in a long time and I recently used it again and I was like, why haven't I used this foundation before? I'm in the back of my hand and I'm just going to swirl it. Now it's better to use like a big fluffy brush. I'm using this one from Sigma. This is the Flat Kabuki F80. Now I do have a code with them to give you like a discount if you want it. Just start buffing in the foundation and you see how everything is just coming together so you want to go with a foundation that's like light to medium you don't want to go with like something really full coverage because then it's really going to cover everything you're doing 
and just like that look how look how beautiful this looks you can still kind of see like the bronzer i'm using the makeup by mario skin enhancer now this stuff is amazing i love this stuff it's so natural so skin like look it's just melting into my skin this is not like a really heavy product is more like a built buildable product that you know you built on but it never cakes up or looks bad the skin is giving i don't like how my hairs are always in the way of my makeup but the skin is giving the skin is beautiful i'll be back with the rest of my face done so this is the finished look My makeup looks really good and really skin-like, very natural. I really like this technique. I want to implement it in my makeup routine because I feel like it looks everything very seamless and blendable. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to try it or not. TikTok or on Instagram, I put my handles down below. And see you guys next time. Mwah.